Chapter Eleven of Divine Healing by Andrew Murray. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Christopher Smith. Do not consider your body. Romans chapter six verses nineteen to twenty one. When God promised Abraham to give him a son, the patriarch would never have been able to believe in this promise if he had considered his own body, already aged and worn out he would see nothing but god and his promise the power and faithfulness of god who guaranteed him the fulfilment of his promise this enables us to lay hold of all the difference there is between the healing which is expected from earthly remedies and the healing which is looked for from god only when we have recourse to remedies for healing all the attention of the sick one is upon the body considering the body while divine healing calls us to turn away our attention from the body and to abandon ourselves soul and body to the lord's care occupying ourselves with him alone this truth equally enables us to see the difference between the sickness retained for blessing and the healing received from the lord some are afraid to take the promise in james five in its literal sense because they say sickness is more profitable to the soul than health it is true that in the case of healing obtained by earthly remedies many people would be more blessed in remaining ill than in recovering health but it is quite otherwise when healing comes directly from the hand of god in order to receive divine healing sin must be so truly confessed and renounced one must be so completely surrendered to the lord self must be so really yielded up to be wholly in his hands and the will of jesus to take charge of the body must be so firmly counted on that the healing becomes the commencement of a new life of intimate communion with the lord thus we learn to give up to him entirely the care of the health and the smallest indication of the return of the evil is regarded as a warning not to consider our body but to be occupied with the lord only what a contrast this is from the greater number of sick people who look for healing from remedies if some few of them have been sanctified by the sickness having learned to lose sight of themselves how many more are there who are drawn by the sickness itself to be constantly occupied with themselves and with the condition of their body what infinite care they exercise in observing the least symptom favourable or unfavourable what a constant preoccupation to them is their eating and drinking the anxiety to avoid this or that how much they are taken up with what they consider due to them from others whether they are sufficiently thought of whether well enough nursed whether visited often enough how much time is thus devoted to considering the body and what it exacts rather than the lord and the relations which he seeks to establish with their souls oh how many are they who through sickness are occupied almost exclusively with themselves all this is totally different when healing is looked for in faith from the loving god then the first thing to learn is cease to be anxious about the state of your body you have trusted it to the lord and he has taken the responsibility if you do not see a rapid improvement immediately but on the contrary the symptoms appear to be more serious remember that you have entered on a path of faith and therefore you ought not to consider the body but cling only to the living god the commandment of christ be not anxious for your body matthew six twenty five appears here in a new light when god called abraham not to consider his own body it was that he might call him to the greatest exercise of faith which could be that he might learn to see only god and his promise sustained by his faith he gave glory to god convinced that god would do what he had promised divine healing is a marvellous tie to bind us to the lord at first one may fear to believe that the lord will stretch forth his mighty hand and touch the body but in studying the word of god the soul takes courage and confidence at last one decides saying i yield up my body into the hands of god and i leave the care of it to him then the body and its sensations are lost sight of and only the lord and his promise are in view dear reader wilt thou also enter upon this way of faith very superior to that which it is the habit to call natural walk in the steps of abraham 
learn from him not to consider thine own body and not to doubt through unbelief to consider the body gives birth to doubts while clinging to the promise of god and being occupied with him alone gives entrance into the way of faith the way of divine healing which glorifies god end of chapter 11